Hello there, welcome to the channel. This is Nerd World, and today's video is about just a theory more than anything. See if you agree with it, or if you don't, let me know. Who and what is or are the Q, and by and large, the Q continuum? Before I get started, I just want to tell you I may have told you before this video is sponsored by my new sponsor relentless rebels their link is in the description below they do viking style jewelry rings pendants chains bracelets etc there is a link in the description below and if you use the code nerd 20 you will get 20 percent off whatever purchase you make from their website as long as again you use the code nerd 20 all capitals again that's all in the link below please check them out if you like that kind of jewelry now with all that said let's get started on my theory piece on the queue and it came about and when i first watched star trek discovery like way back when it first started what 2018 and the mycelial network this idea that in a flash the ship will just disappear and reappear in a complete other part of the universe there are it is specified that there are things that live inside the mycelial network and there are many questions about the Q in general who and what they are like they often make statements about how they like Q once mentioned the Q didn't evolve they just were that the continuum is not linear all these things factor into what we know about the mycelial network that it time there isn't necessarily linear it can easily cross universes it can create things you can I mean who knows what the limits of their manipulations of the mycelial network could potentially be whereas the Q again there seems to instantaneously jump from one point in space to another there seems to wielding a double power but yet when Q became a human and was put aboard the Enterprise D by the continuum although yes he has a great intelligence and he's a very highly intelligent individual he didn't exactly demonstrate millions of years more advanced intellectual knowledge than the crew of the Enterprise D. Now there could be canonical reasons for that. For example, that information was stripped from him. A lesser human mind compared to that of a Q could never comprehend the information, so he just simply couldn't retain it. Or he simply was too lethargic for being kicked out of the continuum to accept it. Whatever his reasoning. But there is another option that maybe the Q aren't as smart as they pretend, that maybe their abilities are less technological and more natural. If they are naturally, or by some extended technological means, able to manipulate the mycelial network and they themselves live within it, it would explain why the, the continuum appears how they want it to appear rather than just is. Factor in a sentient race with the ability to manipulate it and have technology, you could create simulated environments, do all kinds of things. We don't know the extent. We've only seen a snippet of the mycelial network. We've seen a tardigrade. We've seen a few spores and some mushrooms that grow there. But what else is there? My theory is that the Q may, and I'm not saying they are, may have evolved or come from in some way the mycelial network. It, it's the, the thing that I get stuck on, and it is my main sticking point, is their ability to leap from one point in space and time or universe to another literally with click of their fingers or the wave of their hands or whatever they wish to do they are able to simply do it now obviously they demonstrate other abilities like the ability to change life convert life forms into something else they demonstrate the ability to move starships what seems through normal space but by unusual by different means and of course create complex illusions but these could all be technological they could genuinely be very old very advanced and have other abilities but certain other features of their society do seem to fit with what we understand of the laws of physics of the mycelial network, notably, again, the ability to man manipulate space and time to their will, and just simply be anywhere they want to be. And by just literally thinking about it, which is more or less what Stamets does when he wants to take the discovery to another point in space. Now, it's just a theory, and I'm sure there's plenty of holes in it, but it's one that I've been pondering, and I did wonder if it might be true or something that could be explored. Probably won't, I'm probably wrong, but I do think it's an interesting idea and it's a, a good theory just to throw out there. Let me know what you think of it. Is it dumb? Is it stupid? Is there something to it? 
I'm somewhere in the middle of my own idea, so let me know in the comments below. And like, share, subscribe. But also, when you finish this, please check out my sponsor, Relentless Rebels, from the link in the description below. And again, don't forget the code NERVE20 if you're into that kind of jewellery. And with that said, thank you if you watched it all the way to the end of the video. And bye-bye.